And if you didn't think that I was the most obnoxious Aquarius that you knew, welcome. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Cheyenne, this is Cheyenne New, and I'm here to tell you to get your ass in gear before January 21st. Now, I haven't diligently read my horoscope since I was in middle school, but ever since the great winter solstice, I've noticed that uh, the astrologists have been right for a while now, and that's scary as hell. So if you haven't watched my December winter solstice video, then you may not have known that with Capricorn season coming up, there were a lot of predictions of political unrest, traditional foundations crumbling, and an overall refusal to admit defeat. Wow. So yeah, what uh, we thought would happen from December 22nd to around January 20th, 21st. Is that weird? Is that a weird coincidence that the inauguration is on January 20th? The very day the sun is supposed to transition from Capricorn to Aquarius? Is that just a weird coincidence? Because maybe, but also so strange because the Capricorn season also predicted a change in power. And while the age of the Aquarius started um, back December 21st during the winter solstice, the Aquarius season is the thing that happens every year from about January 21st to my birthday, February 18th. What Capricorn is all about is basically hard work. You are either going to experience the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Establish a routine and better habits and basically just go for what you want instead of saying what you want to go for. So of course, I would love to say that by the time Capricorn season officially ends, around January 21st, all of our concerns with the government will disappear. However, um, Aquarius season isn't about peace. Aquarius season is all about exploring outside of social norms. It's an air sign. It's about being imaginative, utopian societies. And the thing about changing things for the better and going through a renaissance period is that it typically comes from war and unrest. Much like the Great Depression that we could be going through right now. Thanks, late stage capitalism. But overall, Aquarius is a weird sign. This is going to be a weird period of your life. While you're still working towards progress, there's going to be weird things happening that leads to change. And no one really likes change, even when they want it. Some things you can do is leave your insecurities alone. Do not pick and prod at yourself. Just focus on what you can do and how you can improve. Now, what's crazy is that you know that Mercury retrograde. There is a Mercury retrograde in the weird ass Aquarius season, which is going to lead to a lot of miscommunication. Between the time of January 30th and February 20th, really watch out for any um, unsavory people that you try to break ties with that want to reconnect. This is the best time to make sure that the people you cut off stay cut off. How exciting! I'm really ready for Aquarius season because of course I love my birthday, I love when it snows, I like the idea of people actually giving a crap about the people around them. I'm really going to enjoy my time doing literally everything that I do just so that I don't have the pain of regrets. That goes into YouTube videos and writing and just about everything that I do. I want to make sure to do it with intention as my God Solange intended. Another thing is, um, of course, Azalea Banks was trending again on Twitter for resurfacing her dead cat. And a lot of people were like, I just don't understand how people can listen to Azalea Banks music. And I would like to say that it's the lack of abuse for me. Okay. Now there's a lot of artists that I can't listen to because they are known abuse 
people, R. Kelly, Chris Brown, if I have seen evidence of you being a terrible human being to others and causing them pain, I can't listen to your music. With the exception of Solange, because she hit Jay-Z in the elevator, but I don't consider that abuse. I consider that retribution. My point is Azalea Banks has not abused anyone and therefore I still listen to her music. So that's pretty much it. Just try to make sure to clearly state your needs and boundaries to others. Um, avoid miscommunication. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you later.